everyone welcome to an actual video on my youtube channel rather than the youtube shorts i figured it was about time that i upload a video where you can actually hear me and see me and all that lovely jazz um i mean the shorts are great but yeah i figured probably should actually do a video um very quickly if you can hear that buzzing i apologize i couldn't tell you what it is i think it's like the heater or whatever for the next door neighbors i don't know but whatever it is, I apologize if it's bothering you, it's, it's bothering me. Anyways, um, I also want to apologize if I'm quiet because it's currently 12.30 a.m. And everyone in my house is asleep and I don't know why I'm awake. But today's video is going to be a fun one. Well, we're going to make it a fun one because I get a halt monitor put on for 48 hours. Fun times. <laughs> um, no, it's really not that bad. If you don't know what a halter monitor is, I'll put a little you know definition there but just essentially it's like an ECG where you know you put the stickers all over your torso abdomen whatever you want to call it and just trace yeah like you know your heartbeats and the electrical activity of your heart but you want to say there because I'm really not good at explaining it um <laughs> but yes so it's not the worst in the world it's just a bit uncomfortable to sleep <laughs> but other than that yeah just go about what I do in my day as it traces it and sends all the information to the cardiologist so that'll be fun we'll take you along with me um you know to the appointments i don't particularly have anything planned during the monitoring but if i get up to anything i'll let you know but yes i'll just update you along the two days um and yeah we can get to wait i actually don't know how long it takes for the results but i see the specialist the 19th of April so I am assuming hopefully fingers crossed get the results then and yeah we'll like I said keep you updated so yeah I don't actually know what is wrong with my heart um I just know that I get these funky arrhythmias um going on which is like things like ventricular rhythm STs and all sorts of funky names which to be honest with you I just know my heart's not going well and not doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> so this 48 hour monitoring will hopefully give more insight of what it's doing and the specialists can obviously look at it, figure it all out, do some more tests and whatever they need to. But we shall do it together. Like I said, we'll go on this journey, you and me, and we will go through the ups and downs and in-betweens of this journey. Because know that you are not alone whatever it is you're going through any diagnoses whether it's you know psychological physical whatever it is you are not alone um in which i know that doesn't particularly help the situation but hopefully even if we never meet you know knowing you've got someone in your corner supporting you and cheering you on from the sidelines fingers crossed gives you a little bit of serotonin as they say i don't know what i'm saying just my point is, is know that we're in this together. Life has its ups and downs, all of its battles, and I think it's important to come together and just support each other. So yeah, if anything, I hope these videos show you you're not alone. We all go through these funky, wonderful things in this world. And also to encourage you just to keep on pushing on because it's tough can be very tough and i'll get into that a bit more later but yeah basically i just want you to know i'm here for you good morning i hope that worked it'd be really funny if it didn't but anyways good morning it is thursday the 30th of march um but also the fact that it's the 30th of march is sort of slightly terrifying because where did time go couldn't tell you anyways so today is the day we get the whole tomorrow to put on which will be fun um but that appointment is at one o'clock so obviously have a whole morning so mum and i are going to go into town because it's my dad's birthday next week and we're going to get him a birthday present which is exciting i just i love birthdays i don't know what it is about birthdays it just gets me so like hyped up anyways um this morning i'll just explain to you what happened because i was just exhausted to properly film anything but i woke up 
I did a slow start, which is what I do most mornings. Um, I took my medicines, put on my compression tights, um, which I got recommended to by the cardiologist just to help with my blood pressure and to stop something called blood pooling. Um, which I'll make a video like properly explaining everything. Um, but I have something called POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Big words. Big, big words. Um, so I'll put a little description in there. Um, so yes, my compression tights just keeps my blood pressure stable, I guess, um, and keeps all my blood vessels from opening, which is what causes the issue sometimes. So it keeps them all tight and regulated is what we'll call it. Um, so yes, we did that. And what else did I do this morning? Just take breakfast. And that is about it. So I'm going to go finish getting ready. Um, and I will see you when we're on our way to Dan. We have made it into the city. Um, and that's exploring there. Um, it's very low. The city's, I don't think the city is ever quiet pretty much. Um, but we've made it. I'm just sitting down waiting for my mum to come. She just quick grabbed herself a coffee. Um, because I was looking for the store to get my dad's present. Um, but they shut down, which is a bit sad. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Welcome to winter, everyone. <laughs> um, I think a good thing to remember, you know, when you've got health issues, is just to sit down and just chillax and take things slow. That's what I'm doing. And I can't believe it's spitting that. The heck, that rain came from nowhere. It's not really raining, it's just spitting. Um, the good news, I have my raincoat on. Yeah. So it's a bit sad that that store shut down. Um, but hopefully I can find what I was looking for online. Here comes my mum. But yeah. I think it's interesting sometimes just sitting like in the city because you just get to people watch and just see everyone going about their days. Um, sorry, just waving to my mum. But yes, so I'll update you hopefully in a quieter place. Hello everyone. It is night one of my halter monitor. Um, here it is. Literally so small and obviously it's attached to all the ECG dots on my chest. Um, it was very easy to get put on. They just put the dots on attach the monitor and bob's your uncle you know <laughs> so it's pretty easy but i also got an echocardiogram done which is an ultrasound of your heart pretty much it's a fancy name um but they can also listen to your heart and i learned that the sound is the velocity of the blood being pumped through which i didn't know that before so it was very interesting um but yes i didn't feel much today because i was just very tired um going to the city was very tiring um so yeah so i just rested which is okay. It's okay to be resting and listening to your body, which is very important. Um, so I'll go into more detail about this tomorrow and, you know, show you the actual machine and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I shall see how I go tonight sleeping with this. The only thing I'm worried about is one of the wires coming undone, but hopefully it doesn't do that. I've had one of these before and it's fairly secure, but I'm very impressed with how it just works pretty much. But yes, oh, that was my little sister sneezing. So yes, I shall talk to you more tomorrow. So for now, good night. Hello everyone. Um, today was a tough day <laughs> um, for my ultra monitor test. I'm not allowed to be on my meds, so i struggling, but I made it to tons of fun. I'll <laughs> insert some image, like video here. Mm -hmm. Time zone was a lot of fun. I realized I've changed the name. It's no longer tons of fun. It's time zone. Didn't mind. But like I said yesterday, which other monitor. So here it is. Just yeah, looks like this little green flashing means it's doing its thing. And yeah, just been sitting around pretty much and just relaxing and trying to not.
pass out because my heart's been doing some funky rhythms. My good old Apple Watch is telling me. But yeah, we get to take it off tomorrow, so that'll be fun. So for now, get it. Welcome to a new day. Finally, I was able to get my machine off. Um, but I realised that when I was showing you, I didn't actually properly show you the machine. So here it is. It's all wrapped up because I'm lighting with a chorus tangling. But this is what it looks like. And I'll grab one of the ends if I can. And this. So this is just the little dots that attach to these. Got a lot of stairs. Let me take one out actually. So yeah. This is what the dots look like. That's the back. I don't actually know what the little foam thing is, but that's alright. So you just, yeah, get it stuck on, and then these things attach onto this little thing like that. And it just sits there and records your heart, pretty much. So that's that. Um, but yeah, finally finished. Now I just get to wait till I see the specialist for the results, but that is my 48 hour hold to monitor journey so i hope you enjoyed watching it um and i hope it gave a little bit of insight i guess to these things how they work and yeah i hope you have a lovely week whenever you are watching this lovely day or night not too sure and as every typical youtuber says well i can subscribe and let me know what else you want to see